Hi guys, I uh, hope you guys are well and keeping safe and staying home. Uh, there's a video I wanted to talk about. Uh, it's a video about a guy who went to engage his girlfriend. Uh, in case you haven't seen the video, here's a video. Yo, yo, yo. Very engaged babe, little. Ring my own and knee, eh? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to engage the baby. Success. Yo, yo. I'm born, Yeah, man. I got you, man. Yeah, yeah. Miss Bill. Yo, man. Going to engage the baby. Oh, dude, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stella, believe. Mmm. I'm going to put some. I'm going to put some. Hey. Hey. Why want a ring, Montuan? Expensive ring. Hey, people, just put it one fifth. This is expensive ring, man. You know what I'm saying? Forty one fifty. Yeah, yeah. Maybe buy. So that's the video and uh, funny as it may be there are two things that i feel uh, we can learn from the video two things i learned that i wanted to share with you number one okay number one it's very important in life to have a support system this guy had two friends his first friend was success his other friend was misbehave what kind of name do you give someone anyway so those are his two friends now to them they felt like our friend was doing the right thing, we'll support him. You see that friend there, we'll go to bra, we're gonna do this, it's gonna be lit. To them, that, to them that was lit, it's gonna be lit. And they went and they engaged the girl. Support system, do you have friends who support you? Other people that felt like they would not want to be associated with that kind of low engagement. But his friends were like, dude, you are a friend, we got you bra, let's do this, let's go engage the girl. And they went. Ask yourself, do you have the kind of friends that will support you in something that may end up maybe embarrassing you or something that will end up maybe degrading your character or something? Do you have those kinds of friends that will support you through thick and thin? If the answer is yes, good for you. Number two, many people are making fun of these guys for their engagement. But to be honest, to me, this video is evidence that love is beautiful in all its forms. This guy thought it was even worth it to get a camera and start filming the process until he got the lady engaged. To him, that was worth it. It may be embarrassing to you or it's no, they should not have done that. To him, it was worth it. He even got his friends, turned on the camera, captured the moment, let's go engage the girl. That was it for them. Another lesson that we can learn from these guys is this guy said the ring was expensive. Okay, it was expensive. How much was it? 150 kwacha. 100 kwacha and 50 kwacha. And to him it was expensive. He even showed off the ring. Now 150 is not expensive for you. But to him, eh, it was worth it. It was expensive. Now, before you make fun of the 150 kwacha ring, think about this. To this guy, that 150 may have been all the money he has. After buying the ring, maybe even became broke. No money whatsoever. But to him, he loved his lady so much that he was willing to spend his last money to buy her an engagement ring. Now ask yourself, some of you would rather go buy a ring with 10,000 kwacha or 20,000 kwacha or 40 or 50,000 kwacha. Now you are spending 5,000 kwacha out of all the money that you have got excess, but you feel like, ah, I can only spend 5,000 kwacha on a ring and whatever money remains, you do other things. Are you willing, if you've got 20,000 kwacha, and that 20,000 kwacha is all your money, all your money, when you spend it, you're broke, are you willing to spend 20,000 kwacha to engage your girlfriend? If no, you've got a lot to learn from this guy. That's a kind of sacrificing love that some people with money may never experience. Sacrifice, giving your everything for this person because you genuinely love them. Some of you are making fun of him, but you've never posted your girlfriend or your boyfriend on any social media platform whatsoever. Or some of you are not even seen in public with the person you're dating. And one wonders whether you're dating someone who's in the FBI or in the CIA or you're dating someone in witness protection. God knows why you're hiding them. But to him, he feels proud of her. Whatever judgment you have, whatever mockery you throw at him, he doesn't care. To him, all he cares about is the fact that he loves this woman. 
and whatever the world has to say, that's none of their business. So that's happiness to him, and that's his version of happiness. Now, uh, this guy got engaged, even in his brokenness. He still got engaged. He could have told the girl, no, I don't have money, as you may see, wait for me to get stable, maybe I find a stable income, or let me get a job, and whatnot. That is something that he decided to do, to engage the lady, even though he's not in a good place right now financially. And that is something that most men who are mocking this guy may never understand. Most guys are promising their girls that they'll engage them or they'll marry them when they find a stable job or let me just finish my master's. You know, babe, I just started my doctorate. I want to focus. Um, the cash flow is not very stable at the moment. We'll see how it goes. Five, ten years pass. He's still seeing how it will go. Now, that's something that is a very pertinent lesson for all of us. Marriage is not about being financially stable. If you choose to marry someone because you're financially stable, ask yourself, what will happen if one year into the marriage you lose your job? You're not financially stable anymore. Are you going to divorce? No. That is a lesson that you who's making fun of this guy can learn from him. To me, this guy is an example of love. Love is love. Whether love is in a suit or love is walking around the compounds in rags, it is still love. You never know what people will come tomorrow, okay? The guy is walking around in rags today, you don't know what will be 10, 20 years from now. You make fun of him today, but you don't know what tomorrow will bring. So guys, we all have our love story. And for them, this is their love story. It's not your fancy love story, it's not a love story bathed in gold, neither is it the most romantic. But it's their love story and it's theirs alone.